Dear brothers and sisters, this is Christopher. In this video, I want to share with you about my vision plan for Lunk to One Dollar Plus. And I'm going to read the plan and explain it. And this is a plan that I believe in as the Lord has led me. And I will describe about that more also. And I am a validator on Lunk. You can stake your coins with me. My validator is called Jesus is Lord. Okay, so this is my plan for Lunk to One Dollar Plus, and I will go through it with you so that you can understand it. I'll explain it in detail, and I'm running a competition on Twitter. Right now, which will end in, I think, about five hours or something like that where you will have a chance to win 5 million lunk by just following me on Twitter and retweeting the post. So the link to that will be in the description below. That will be drawn today. And there will be a single winner. It will be drawn by Twitter picker, so it's a random selection. Okay, so to the plan. It is the vision plan for lunk to $1 plus and the first foundation is on-chain foundation for burns and funding. The step one of the plan is adjust the on-chain tax for LUNK to 1.5% total. Number two is a tax split change. So adjust the tax split to 80-20% from the current 90-10% split. So currently 10% of the tax our current tax is 0.2, 10% of it goes to the community pool, and 90% is burned. So I suggest changing that to 80% to burn and 20% to the community pool. Now step three, the summary of the new tax distribution. The total on-chain tax is now 1.5% with a 1.2% burn tax and 0.3% going to fund the chain either directly to the community pool or it can go by way of what's called the distribution module which splits it half to the community pool and half to the oracle pool and that's what pays out staking rewards so if we are going only to the community pool then we can implement a cap on the community pool of a suitable amount and the overflow of that can go 100 percent to the oracle pool uh, that's part of my plan because the 0.3% of the tax, which goes to fund the chain, is very important. So we can fund all our needed development as well as funding the Oracle pool, which keeps our staking rewards good for the long term. So that's really important to fund that. So step four, because we're raising the tax on chain, we also need to exempt utility from tax. That's step number four. So we whitelist or exempt dApps from on-chain tax. This incentivizes building on-chain while allowing us to have a good tax rate for burns and funding and lets us pursue off-chain burns. So a lot of these uh, dApps and different apps that want to come and build on Lunk, we can exempt them from tax. We can do it by exempting those kinds of transactions or we can whitelist them. Whichever way we do it, we can make it tax-free for people to come and build on Lunk and offer their services. The advantage of that is even though they're not being taxed with the burns and the funding rate, they can contribute by bringing utility in general, which will overall provide an increase in users to Lunk, which would increase volume. So we will get an increase in on-chain volume. We don't need to actually tax them. And that is a good way to incentivize building. So my plan is burning and it is also building because they are tax-free in my plan. Okay, now we go to step five. And this from here on, we are looking to implement off-chain the 1.2% burn tax by united community effort and that's really important so step number five 
the L1 team approaches exchanges. And this is this will be the L1 team at the time of this proposal if it is accepted by the community um, or when it is accepted by the community. So the L1 team as our primary community representatives reach out to the top 10 to 20 exchanges in volume for Lunk, offering internal wallet whitelisting and if possible, deposits to their exchange being exempt from the 1.5% on-chain tax. We will do this if in return they agree to apply a 1.2% burn tax on all off-chain buy and sells on their exchange. The L1 team will advise of any technical matters involved in doing that. The community will assist wherever possible. So we have an arrangement with Binance. They currently burn half of their trading fees for Lunk. It used to be the full amount. Um, and that was changed due to minting, unfortunately. So we whitelisted Binance's internal wallet. So what happens is exchanges uh, need to do internal transfers of all the Lunk that they're holding on behalf of the holders on their exchange. And they do that for security reasons and different reasons. So they didn't want to get hit by our on-chain tax. Now, if we raise our on-chain tax to 1.5%, it's like a all the exchanges, if they want to move internally, it's going to cost them 1.5% of their holdings every time they move. So we are applying some type of leverage here and it's not to not in that kind of way. We're actually trying to burn our supply and fund our chain. So we're encouraging cooperation and that's what this tax rate does. It encourages cooperation from the exchanges. So we say, if you will burn the 1.2% burn tax for us on your exchange, we will whitelist all your internal wallets from the on-chain tax. So they won't be paying 1.5%. It'll be free for internal transfers. We will also, if this is possible, we will make it exempt for people to send Lunk to their exchange. So that's like incentivizing people to send their Lunk to their exchange. Of all exchanges who participate, we can offer that too. So whatever hot wallet they have where people send Lunk to, if we can do that, we can make that transfer to that hot wallet exempt from on-chain tax. And that would be another great incentive that we could offer on our end, which doesn't hurt us. We lose a little bit of on-chain tax going there, but if they can do the 1.2 off-chain, that is where all the volume is. That is how we can burn the supply, the hyperinflated, almost 7 trillion supply of Lunk. That is how we can get to where we want to go. So that's step number five. Step number six, the L1 team keeps a list of exchanges answers to our question. And the L1 team keeps a private list of exchanges who agree or disagree to this question. The question is, would you agree to apply the 1.2% burn tax on Lunk buy and sells if other exchanges do the same? We're not asking them to step out on their own. We're trying to form a consensus of exchanges who will agree and they can implement it that way so that no one's feeling like, oh, we're going to lose volume. No one's going to trade here because of this. We want an equal application and that is how we can get it achieved. Number seven, achieve consensus and apply whitelisting. With community pressure and requests, the L1 team will update the private list of exchanges who agree to the 1.2% off-chain burn tax. Once consensus is reached or a majority of exchanges agree, we will negotiate with exchanges for an agreed upon date for a simultaneous launch of the 1.2% burn tax off-chain. Once that is set, we will pass our governance proposal to approve all the whitelisting from participating exchanges prior to their launch. So this lets us build up a private list the L1 team will manage, whoever the L1 team is at this time of this proposal coming into effect. The L1 team will manage the list. That list is private. And once we have built consensus between the big exchanges, 
and they all agree we can do agree to a simultaneous launch then we agree to a, then they agree to a launch date we whitelist everything of theirs internally and uh, deposits to their exchange and then the 1.2% burn tax is launched this is how we should do it in my view and that's how I've set it out in my plan and you can see the flow chart So, number eight, the 1.2% burn tax is launched off-chain on buy and sells. Massive lunk burns begin with volume and huge price rises. The pathway to $1 plus is secured. This is really important. Off-chain burns have huge volume on the exchanges. We could be burning so much lunk every day. The price rises would be huge i've seen all this in prophetic dreams that this these massive burns are coming and i'm doing my part to try to bring them it's to bring them to pass as the lord has led me okay number nine after the the big exchanges or we get the coalition of exchanges to launch we can complete adoption number nine Continue to push for unanimous or near unanimous adoption by total trading volume percentage of the 1.2% off-chain burn tax on exchanges. So meaning we keep trying to encourage other exchanges to join. So we have a near unanimous 1.2% burn tax so that the exchanges aren't going to be worried. Oh, they're going to leave and go to the cheaper exchanges. This was concerns from Binance before. But CZ Binance already said in his 23rd of September AMA last year, he said that he didn't think the 1.2% could work unless all exchanges would do it because the people would just leave and go to the cheaper exchange. And that's a fair point. But my plan is to achieve consensus by participating exchanges, offering them incentives, keeping the, the list of those who agree private until we have reached consensus and then launching. That is a suitable plan which, uh, which deals with the hesitations that have already been expressed and that is a very achievable plan. And so number 10, the final step, glorious victory lunk at $1 plus is achieved. The miraculous recovery is complete and will continue forward to new all-time highs. And that is my vision plan for lunk to $1 plus. And I believe this is achievable. I believe that we can do it as a community. And I am prepared to be patient and wait until the community is willing to really try this. In the past, we had the 1.2% burn tax. We had it on chain. And we tried to get exchanges to adopt it. And we heard, we need to have it on chain first. That's what we were told. Once we got it on chain... They didn't want to do it. They were hesitant. We didn't have wallet whitelisting back then. We didn't have great incentives which we can, we can use to help them come on board. We didn't have this technique I'm laying out of achieving consensus between exchanges and a simultaneous launch. So the community unfortunately voted to remove the 1.2% burn tax after only three weeks. So they gave up. And that was a big mistake. We need to go back to the 1.2% burn tax. And we will have a, in my plan, a 1.5% on-chain tax so that we can also fund our chain with that 0.3. But the exchanges will only implement the 1.2% burn tax on buy and sells. So whenever ever someone buys Lunk on KuCoin or Binance, there'll be a 1.2% fee that will automatically go and get burned. And... It'll be the same for selling. And people will get used to this. This is not a onerous, a terribly huge tax. This is a, a reasonable, fair tax, given that our coin is hyperinflated. And we can achieve this if we come together as a community and put in consistent effort and not give up. And the reason I believe in this plan so much is that God has shown me through prophetic dreams that Lunk will go 
a huge rise in price. It will rise dramatically. I have seen Lunk surpassing its all-time highs. And I have seen in prophetic dreams that Binance will implement the 1.2% burn tax off-chain. I have seen this in prophetic dreams. I have seen that KuCoin will also do it. So I'm coming from a position of uh, believing in faith in what the Lord has shown me. And I believe that this plan is achievable and is the Lord's will for me to share it. And the Lord also showed me that I, in a dream where I was implementing a 1.5% on-chain tax. So that's what I've done. My plan is from the prophetic dreams the Lord has shown me. 1.5% tax, 1.2% tax off-chain. We can do it. It's achievable. I'm putting it out there and I'm waiting until the right time to go forward with this, with the community's support, hopefully. And I want to share this with you. I believe in this plan. I am trying to promote this plan with competitions. And I believe it's an excellent plan. It does not harm utility or building. They are tax-free in my plan. This is a great plan to achieve $1 plus. This is a real serious plan to get huge rise in lunk prices. And I've laid it all out there. You can see the flow chart. There will be a link below. It's on the screen also. And you can follow me on Twitter if you want to join the competition for 5 million lunk ending today. You can do that. And I also have, uh, you can see on my website how to stake with me. There's a link below. Jesus is Lord, Lunk Validator. Uh, we recently just hit 2% voting power. Praise the Lord. Thank you for everyone who supported. And we will continue to move forward. And I will work towards achieving this vision plan for Lunk to $1 plus as the Lord has shown me and my validator roadmap, which I have laid out before. I endeavor to have clear communication with my delegates and to let them know what I'm doing, what I stand for. And if you agree with me, you're welcome to stake with me and help me to achieve these goals by assisting me in rising in voting power. And that allows me to have a higher say in on-chain governance. So I uh, thank you for, for listening and hearing about my plan. And may God bless you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. And thank you everyone who has staked with my validator. And I hope to continue to do as the Lord leads me with Lunk and with my validator. And I will endeavor to do that always. So thank you and God bless you, Christopher.